I happen to be a liberal member of the Liberal Party myself. However, in 2013, I ran for the Marijuana Party in the BC election. The Liberal Party of Canada recently hosted what they called an open conversation on the legalization of marijuana. Guess what? It was in Vancouver. Federal Liberal leader Justin Trudeau has made legalization of the drug one of his first and only policy announcements. Uh, when it comes to drug, Gavin McInnes, star of the new movie How to Be a Man, well, let's just say that Gavin has pretty much tried them all, but he still doesn't support the promotion of drugs. In a recent piece for Tacky's Mag, Gavin wrote that drugs should be discouraged, not criminalized. Only a couple of the Ten Commandments are laws. None of the seven deadly sins are. Gavin joins us now from New York. And uh, Gavin, this is one of the things I like about you. You and I disagree uh, perhaps on what should be legalized, how much should be legalized. But unlike a lot of the people who are in favor of legalizing drugs, you'll actually admit they're bad for you. Yeah, pot, I mean, we've all seen this. We have those friends in high school who smoked it in class and smoked at lunch and ruined their lives. Because it does, during your formative years, it does decay your brain. But so does speed, which is Adderall, and all students are on Adderall. And so does alcohol, which I'm on right now. <laughs> you, had a, you had a couple of pints on the way over to the studio, did you? I was nervous because you're always so on the ball, and I had a few sips of my flask before I got on. All it right. helps ease it out. So you would go from what we have now to heroin legalization? Um, if, if you were in charge, you'd be fine with that? Heroin is legal. It's called OxyContin, and it's a very effective painkiller. I mean, heroin is the very worst that drugs get. And even then, society is better off when it's legal than when it's illegal. There's less deaths. It's less dangerous. There's less crime. There's less money put into fighting this stupid war. You know, it's been made legal in Portugal. It's been inc incredibly effective in England, these methadone programs. But every time I have this debate with people, they never tried any of the drugs they're talking about. And they seem to, they seem to uh, amalgamate a drug being bad for you and it being illegal. Everything is bad for you. Driving is bad for you. But we don't make it illegal because we don't trust bureaucrats to regulate our morality. Which is your point um, about the seven deadly sins and, and the Ten Commandments. So I get where you're coming from there. Let me, uh, let me play, read from your piece again, your Tacky's Mag piece, and then play you a clip from that uh, uh, drug seminar that the, the liberals had and get your, your take okay. on it. The legalization debate, this is from Gavin, you wrote, the legalization debate was easy back when it was nothing more than beer and cigarette form. Now that it's basically LSD, which is how you describe today's pot, it's hard to want to legalize it without throwing all the hallucinogens in the mix. Well, listen to this clip from Justin's uh, little pot confab. I think they do want to legalize them all. Roll tape. For me, I feel like marijuana is a linchpin issue in many ways, and that if we can change the laws and pull out that peg, it'll result in a lot of other positive changes to our society, and perhaps the beginning of the end of the greater drug war as well. Because although I think marijuana is very important, like John said, I think it goes beyond marijuana, and how we treat drug policy in general needs to change in this country and around the world, but marijuana is that first step. All right, so again, you and I, different sides of the legalization debate, but you take it the same way I do, that guy's uh, you know, saying, let's legalize pot so we can get all the others legalized. I get called crazy for that, for saying that's what that guy wants. Look, a clock is right twice a day. Justin Trudeau likes pot because it's cool, and that's why he's choosing this crusade. But he happens to be right. It should all be legalized. And I defy anyone who thinks that pot is good for pain to go smoke a joint and get a tattoo. It feels like someone is using an ax to carve your arm open. It makes pain way worse. And we have Rastafarian saying, it's good for asthma. How Good for asthma? It's the only thing it's good for is giving you a bit of an appetite if you're on chemo. But let's stop, you know, the mar marijuanaists do themselves a huge disservice when they pretend it's some miracle drug. No. Especially now in 2014, where there's three times the THC ever, it's a very intense drug. I smoked some the other day. My hands went numb. I was lying on the floor with my shirt off, trying to summon the courage to call 911. The, uh, the Neville brothers uh, did a, a recent uh, interview where they were talking about them being addicted to, uh, or Aaron Neville talking about being addicted to heroin. Said it took him more than 10 years to get off this stuff. Here's my worry if we go the legalization route, in this country anyway, where we have socialized medicine and well, you're used to socialized medicine. You're in New York now, but you're Canadian. And you're about to get it. 
is that I'm going to be paying for someone else's heroin because it will become just another entitlement. And quite frankly, I don't want that's, to be paying for their, their heroin. You're right, and that sucks. But you're paying for it right now. You're paying for the junkies who come in scratching their faces off because they've got bad junk. You're paying th for uh, the police to spend all their time chasing these petty thieves who are trying to get money for smack. You're paying for the jails that they're but, all but in. But do you you're think, paying for this ridiculous the, pot war. Do you think that the legalizing, you know, I just want to get your honest opinion. Do you think that legalizing it, it would end up being regulated by the government like booze in most of North America. And, and I don't think that's going to do away with the illegal market because when the government runs booze, guess what happens to the price? It goes way up. Or in the case of the Canadian government's first attempt to grow pot, they couldn't grow a weed. They couldn't grow it. Shh. Well, you, we saw this in Canada with cigarettes. Remember the natives would sell them in those saran wrap bags yeah. or those glad sandwich bags? Yeah, and they pull over an 18-wheeler with cigarettes in it. That was nothing compared to the drug wars that go on in North America and Mexico and the, the drug wars that are going on right now in all of South America. The amount of illegal transactions you're going to get after the government takes over is nothing. And I guarantee they're going to screw it up, too. They're incompetent, but they're no worse than these drug lords. All right. Well, we'll leave it to the audience and we'll put it to them. Gavin, good talking as always. And unlike me, well, you've done those all, all those things. So.